You've just got your Raspberry Pi and you're eager to install OpenHab on it and start your smart home journey. Today's video is all about general overview and the installation process of OpenHab on a Raspberry Pi 4. But the process will be the same for lower versions also, 2, 3 and 4. But before diving into the tutorial, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. I have tons of materials that I'm working on at this moment in this area and I'm sure you don't wanna miss it. Let's get started. If you've just got your Raspberry Pi, before diving into installation, you should really take into consideration to add a fan and a heatsink, or at least one of them. Not only will it improve its lifespan, but it will definitely have a higher performance as when it's getting hot, in order to prevent damage, it reduces the performance. As the Raspberry is made to be installed on SD card, make sure you have one with good performance, as if not, you'll don't be happy with the speed you get from it. So be sure your SD has good read and write speed. The capacity is not an issue. Anything over 8 gigabits is good enough. Now on your browser, type openhub.org and go to documentation. In the left hand side menu, click on OpenHabian. Then choose Raspberry Pi from the table of contents. There you can find all the installation steps that we will follow. So first thing, we will download the latest OpenHabian image file. Then we have to download and install Etcher, which is a software that will write the image to SD card. After both downloads are complete, insert your SD card, open Belena Etcher, choose Flash from File and select the OpenHabian image. Now click on Select Target and choose from the list your SD card. Click on Flash and wait. When it's done, you will get a successful message. Insert your SD card into Raspberry Pi and go ahead to connect it to network cable and power supply. Wait between 15 to 45 minutes while it's doing the magic. As a quick note, you could use your Raspberry purely Wi-Fi, but for that, you will need to edit on your SD card the file openhabian.conf and then comment Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi PSK and change them according to yours. But trust me, the cable is always the best. Back to our installation. You can view the progress on your browser going to http openhab If you don't see anything, no worries, just wait. Once it's done, OpenHab usually creates a local DNS name and you should be able to access it typing HTTP dash dash OpenHab and the port 8080. But in case you don't get any response, log into your router and depending on the dashboard you have, search where you have your connected clients. There you will see a client named OpenHab and its IP address. You could also connect a monitor to your Raspberry and see the IP address directly. Copy paste that IP in your browser followed by the port 8080. You should have a welcome page and you'll need to choose a package. Each package have slightly different add-ons. I recommend choosing the standard one as it have all you need. Anyway, you can always add everything later if you want to. As today we're only getting on installation, I will choose the demo package, which basically install the standard package, a few extra add-ons and dummy data. So I can show you a general overview on how you can configure it. 
So after you click on demo or standard, leave a minute or two for everything to show up in your dashboard. The log viewer will show you a list with everything happening in real time. Basic UI is exactly what it says, a basic UI with all functionalities of your home in a simplified version. There you'll have the rooms, lights, temperature, etc. On the other hand, if you go to Hub Panel, you can completely customize everything in your own way. And it's very good looking on tablets and big screens. You definitely want to have a tablet with this on a wall in your home. REST API is more or less for developers, so they can get and use data from OpenHab to external applications. So we don't get more deep into that. And Paper UI is the administration. Here you can set up and add all your devices, link to cloud, make connections with your TV, add MQTT devices and really really dozens of things. If you already have a smart thing, there is a big chance you can bind it on OpenHab with a few clicks. That will be all for today's video and in some next video we'll continue by installing Grafana and in FluxDB for super beautiful graphs, set up sensors, install Node-RED for event driven application and so on. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.